All right, so I thought I was uh, pretty close to being done with this, but you know how Murphy's Law goes. Um, once I got the previous circuit board assembled, here's some rejects here. I mean, I took some parts off of these guys, but um, well, the first one, the first one just didn't work at all, and that was disconcerting. And I think it was because I, I actually built it wrong. I forgot to add one of the leads because there was something weird in Eagle. And even when I patched it, there was something else shorted out, so that one was scrap. Then this next one I built with a relay, and really what I'm learning a lot about is how the the kickback voltage works in these big solenoids. I mean, you look at the size of this thing. It's pulling one amp um, of current when it's open, and basically all it is is you know a big coil, so. It has an inductive, it is an inductance, and then when you turn it off, it kicks voltage back into the system, which probably fried a chip or two. Um, but this is the new circuit. Um, did a little learning, and this one's actually pretty simple. No relay, it just uses this MOSFET here. Can't even get it to focus, come on now. And uh, a bigger diode back there so that that way when the solenoid is deactivated that diode allows the energy to be dissipated um, so let's fire this bad boy up turn on the power supply so right and we'll turn it on So this same thing, this bigger capacitor, because the other ones have the leads too short, but I'll probably swap in the smaller one when I build it again. But, uh, boom. Yep, there it goes. Where's the screwdriver? Make it go a little faster. And drag it out a bit. It's going to stay on for a little while. Um... This is the same 555 timer circuit that I was using before. Um, the only difference with the whole circuit, though, is that I just have this. The out output lead of the 555 goes into the gate on the MOSFET. There, one off. And um, then there's the resistor um, parallel across the coil pointing back up towards the voltage. So, I mean, I've been testing this, and it works pretty flawlessly constantly although I thought my relay driven one also worked flawlessly when it was on this board here and then by the time I printed a circuit board and soldered everything on here um, it wasn't really working although last night I did have one that worked intermittently and I think that has something to do with some saturation or something's just not right but hopefully this one right here will be the winner and I will uh, package it up, put the little cover on, nice little water drop on it, and start shooting water.